one of the most common materials used to outplant coral colonies on natural reef substrates is cement. There are a number of pros and cons of using cement, but one of the things most people have trouble with is getting the mixture right and having the appropriate equipment for deployment. Many people have had success deploying cement using piping bags. However, I personally recommend multi-purpose caulking guns to enable ease of transport and deployment. If you get the system right, it can be a really effective method. Another big advantage of using cement is the low cost. Here, we're going to show you how to mix cement specifically for outplanting coral in situ underwater. Good morning. Well, this morning we're going to try and, uh, we're not going to try, we're actually going to mix cement using uh, a few different compounds that's going to be for deploying underwater to attach our coral discs like these to the underwater substrate. So what I've got here, I've got lots of things. Uh, I have um, a very expensive measuring bucket, which is exactly two kilos. Uh, a couple of different sized jugs for measuring out the water that we need. Um, some marked other measuring implements. We're going to be using standard cement and we're going to be uh, adding this additive which is called Bondcrete, which is helping to make the cement more viscous so it doesn't disperse very easily underwater. Different ratios that I've tried. Um, basically we're working with one kilo of cement to 400 millilitres of water to 25 mils of Bondcrete. Now one of the things that's really important with the mixing of cement is the process and the order that you do stuff in. So that's 400 mils of cement, yep. but we want 400 mils of water. Oh. <laughs> so we'll try that again, shall we? So we're going to start by making sure we have a wet bucket. Always start with a wet bucket. And we're going to add 400 mils of water and our additive, Bondcrete, to make sure that it's going to be a little bit more adhesive. Now, a lot of the Bondcrete gets stuck in the little cup here. So make sure you get as much of that out as possible. We can use the cup again, and then give that a mix. Now you can do this by hand, but I'm, <laughs> I've got a drill with a mixer on it. So there's not much to this, it's a liquid going into a liquid, so it mixes pretty well. <clears throat> a bit like a vanilla milkshake. Okay, so now we are going to slowly add the cement. So I'm going to lean that up on there so I have it on a bit of an angle and I can, whoa, probably a bit too much. So it's really important to make sure that you mix it thoroughly so that we don't get lumps and bits of unmixed cement that are going to get caught in the caulking gun as we're trying to deploy it. I feel like it's a, still a little bit runny. It's a little bit like baking a cake, you know, just saying, oh, that, that uh, mixture's a bit runny. I might need to thicken that up a little bit with a bit more flour. So with the cement mixture, you want to be able to pour it, but it still needs to hold together because we're actually going to try and deploy it underwater. So it's a little bit of a, a balancing act with regard to getting the mixture right. And that's why it's good if you have somebody who's done it a little bit. You can see there, sort of looking a little bit. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty runny but holding together. I'll just have a quick look at that. So we attach the top, and you can see the top of the caulking gun is quite large, probably about 
15 mil wide, so a nice wide aperture because this is quite a thick mixture. Going, so once we've got it like that, we can, we would pass that down to our scuba diver or free diver in the water to go and deploy this for attaching the coral. As I mentioned earlier, this is but one method for mixing and deploying cement. This method can be a bit messy and a bit cumbersome, but if you have more than a few corals to outplant and you have a team and set up something of a production line, this method is very efficient and effective. You'll probably need one to two people on the boat or shore mixing cement. One to two people snorkeling to exchange empty caulking guns for full ones. And depending on the size of the coral colonies you intend to outplant, you should get around 15 to 17 colonies out of each caulking gun for smaller colonies, less for larger ones. But with practice and a bit of trial and error, you'll get better at it and your process will improve. See our video on methods for outplanting corals to see how we deploy it underwater. Mm -hmm.